There's a lot we've learned about COVID-19 over the last two and a half years, but there's still a lot we don't know. Over the past year, this virus has changed. And I think we have more questions than answers at this point about what the future looks like with this virus. And the only way we're going to find out the answers is if we ask people in North Carolina to participate in this study. The vision study is really intended to try to understand what determines how well we do with this infection in the future. Specifically, how well does prior vaccination or prior infection protect us against the more severe complications of this infection? Additionally, we also want to know what protects us against both the short-term outcomes and the long-term consequences of this infection. So not only um, how quickly we get better from this infection, but also how can we reduce our chances of developing long COVID or the long-term complications of this infection? A person to be in our study would have to test positive within the last week. And that could be a home test, that could be at your pharmacy, that could be at a doctor's office, doesn't matter. As long as you have a test that's positive, you could be eligible for our study if you're 18 and older and live in North Carolina. So there's a couple different parts of the study. The main study, it's actually all remote. So the consent is conducted online and all of the surveys are conducted online. So you never have to come in to be part of this study. You just provide information from the comfort of your home. There is a second part of the study, and this is a more intensive sampling part where we collect uh, nasopharyngeal swabs, respiratory samples, as well as blood from a, a smaller group of people. Those individuals will come in on a, a couple times throughout the study to have their samples collected. This is going to be the biggest study of its kind that's ever happened in North Carolina. To follow people who have COVID-19 and see what happens to them. What's their trajectory? You know, how many people do really well right away? How many people get rebound? How many people get long COVID? How many people end up in the hospital? How many people don't end up in the hospital? How well do vaccines work? How well does natural infection work? These are the big ticket questions that everyone's asking. This is the way we could find out an answer and find it out pretty quickly. Like within the next year or so, the kind of information we're gonna get is gonna help us understand more about COVID-19 and make a difference in people's lives.